guys, Poop on my back. I'm Aaron. Rick. Eric. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine Nine, yep. where last time we had a, a high school reunion. Yeah. And a mystery as to who was the tattler. The tattler. And a horn dog. That's also, is Gina? That mystery. Is Gina leaving? She's uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, just because she's leaving the Nine Nine doesn't mean she needs to be leaving the show. Sure. Technically. But had that happen, did. Show. She left for a while after she got hit with the bus. But it felt like she was leaving, kind of ish. Yeah, but this one feels like I'm quitting my job, whereas that was like bodily harm done probably because the baby need to leave. Well, there was also like I had a baby, mm. so I'm leaving then yeah. too. Which yeah. also bodily harm. Mm. Mm. Those yeah. babies don't come out gentle. No, I did. I hear. You hear? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Well, not well. No. That's her. What the hell? <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. That was amazing. Gina, what's this all about? I wanted to make one final grand entrance. Final? What do you mean, Gina? I Leave decided it. to leave the 9-9, which is why... Oh, oh, okay. Do they have to take pills for their penis, too? I don't understand what you're going to do. I'm not sure, but Jake convinced me it was... Don't worry, I have a parting gift for all of you. I printed Time for Gina's Opinion hoodies for you with your name on Time for on Gina's it. Opinion. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's fun. So, like, Time for Jake's Opinion? What are you, insane? No, it says Time for Gina's Opinion in large text on the back. With and the then crowd. her names are stitched really tiny on the front. I had to guess at some of the spellings. Arnie! But that's not all. Over the next two weeks, I will be leaving each of you with a signature Gina moment. Something so shocking for the rest of your life. Is Boyle gonna cry? <laughs> awesome. Was that the first movement? What are you crazy? No, that's the warm up. Each movement is 45 minutes. Oh, damn. Hit it! Ah, uh, we skipped the movement. Um, I don't think we did. I think it's the next eight episodes. I didn't hate that warm up, though. That was alright. Yeah. I like the foot foam. I don't think I can do that. Oh, first movement. Crapton, you ready to get curb stopped? What? At chess. We have a weekly match. I'm teaching Gina to play, and she in turn is teaching me to trash talk. The hospital called. Your test results came back positive. You're a stage five dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you have come so far. You need it, Gina? The best. She struggles. We've been playing for four years now, and she has yet to defeat me. Good luck. I'm rooting for you, Gina. You would take the loser's side, Jeffrey G. Oh my god! This chat talk, I don't like it. <laughs> what? I don't know why you're so confident you win. What if you get sick? Healthcare is expensive. What if something happens to your daughter? Checkmate. Did you just delay that? <laughs> to punctuate your point? I did. Far. <laughs> How long do they have for this? I don't know. Checkmate. That was completely illegal. That's not at all how the queen moves. That's how this queen moves. Checkmate. It's against the rules of chess. Well, Gina Minetti done reinvented the game. Uh, I'm supporting your overall career decision. I'm on board, but you can't assign yeah, me. <laughs> I want both things. Chess and the argument. This little birdie, she gotta fly the coop. I'm taking this with me as a little remembrance or... I have an incomplete board. Chuck, he's a thimble or something. A thimble? Hey, Second. what are you two up to? Eh, I'm on my phone and Rose is just sitting there silently. I'm sorry, I just get so emotional about these things, you know? I wish I could be more like Rosa. Huh? I got bored. What's going on? See, she doesn't even give a damn. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do that. Then I would cry less at the bank. It's just the there's bank. one poster of this older Asian man opening his savings account <laughs> for his grandson. Okay, <laughs> all right. Cool. Just before we go, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for a bit. Not to cry about you leaving, but just to take a huge dump. So, if you hear any crying from the bathroom, it's not about you. <laughs> the dump. <laughs> Gina, since you're leaving, I'd like to make a toast. Bye. Oh my god, that was perfect. Yeah. So nice. Great. Gina, I got a little going away present for you. Don't worry, noth
Jesus. Oh what is it? Wow. Scrapbook? I said, if you ever die, you wanted someone to turn your tweets into a book, so that's what I did. Oh my God, I said so many witty things so fast. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say. This is horrifying. What? This is way worse than crying. I mean, you put so much work into this. I'm completely uncomfortable. It makes me, kind of makes me sick. Amy, there's something I want you to do right now. Burn the book I made you? Yes, the only way to cleanse your childish sentimentality and become the true you, the one that's really Rosa. Okay, sure. I mean, it does include a very personal forward I wrote. All the ink. $5 of my best archival glue. But yeah, this feels good. Hey, never seen you burn the stuff in the bum barrel before. Right on. <laughs> What was in there, Hitchcock? Eh, eh, eh. First rule of the bum barrel? <laughs> never ask somebody what <laughs> the bum barrel. The bum barrel. No, I can't do it. What? I thought you wanted us to change you. I thought I did too, but I don't. I like having emotions, okay? This is who I am. You're leaving, and that's a really big change, and I'm going to cry about it a lot, okay? And there it is. Another flawless Gina moment. What? What's going on? Amy, the lesson I wanted to leave you with is to just be yourself. If you want to cry like an idiot for hours on end, just do it. You want to make a big old ugly book full of all my brilliant thoughts? Do it. Do you. It's Gina. What did Hitchcock burn? Oh. Oh, wow. That was really, really sweet. Oh, dip. I got Rosa to feel her feelings, too. Inadvertent Gina moment. Two for one. <gasps> Come in, my <laughs> Come in. What's this guy from Scully's lesson? But you might want to take a couple steps back. This is not going to smell good. Uh, yes, so much. What's going on? I'm trying to secure a cool venue for Gina's going away party. Gina Rama. Oh, that of attention said Gina Rama, not Gina Rama. I thought it was weird they moved Gina Rama from Tampa. It's really a one way event. Oh, wait, I'm confused. The Gina Rama? That place is stuffy and like. Leroy Pipe is in. All he needs is bail money. Great. But also, Terry, you still call your dad. Gotcha. Gina. He's Leroy Pipe. pipe. Terry's friend uh, and I don't know. He wouldn't have a phone to text while he's in prison. Bayside High's number one wrestler, AC Slater. That's what? right, Mario Lopez. Oh, what? Oh, Slater? I had a crush on him. Yeah. We all had a big crush on AC Slater. Get in line. <laughs> I'll be cooler when we meet him. I should hope so. <laughs> Anyways, he's hanging out at the Manhattan Club right now. We can go there and try and talk to him. Jake, you Whoa. can't just walk into the Manhattan Club. It's very exclusive. Is it just a whole room full of lizards? Bingo. Well, then I guess we'll have to transform ourselves. Into lizards? Into the uber wealthy. <laughs> None of his shoes sold enough. No. They're vintage. Girls, turn the music off. Daddy, the man won't let us into the club. Oh. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. No. Daddy wants to speak with you. Gladly. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. Daddy. Does it go, oh, Daddy? Question, Daddy. Daddy wants to get this young man fired. What is your first and last name? Uh, you know what? Forget about it. You can just go on up. Fantastic. Everything's well, Daddy. We're heading in, Daddy. Gina, the bathrooms here are amazing. I just peed on gold. I peed on gold. That's so dope, but we don't have time. Mario Lopez is right there. So what do we say? Well, whilst stars hate people, they love animals, because animals have bad bodies, so they're no competition. Okay, so we say the party is for monkeys. Monkeys with malaria. Malnourished malaria monkeys. God, it's ridiculous how good we are at this. Yeah, it's going Wait, I don't think there's any way we're getting past those security guards. We need a distraction. Ooh. How about this? I'll sprint past them, and whilst they're chasing after me, you speak into the VIP. Wow, we've said whilst twice in this conversation. I know, this place is really rubbing off on us. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up! Catch me if you do! You immediately did! No! Stop it! I'm telling Daddy! Daddy! Ow. 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 Damn, we need to see Mario. You okay? Are we gonna see no, him? Fine. It really wasn't that bad of a beating. I don't know why I'm lying. You were there. You helped me as I wept. Anyways, sorry that Gina Rama has been a little bit basic so far, but all of that is about to change because guess who just pulled up outside? Shade. A.C. Slate. Is he really here? I'm sorry. Everyone be cool. He's here. He is. Hey, is uh, this the hungry monkey thing? It sure is, AC Slater. I'm so sorry, Mr. Lopez. I know that you're not actually the very iconic character that you played. Sure about that, buddy? <sighs> this is the best moment of my life. 
So it's like, can I, uh, can I get a drink? Uh, actually, I'm sorry, the venue's at capacity. There's just too many people inside. But Wait, I was told that this event depended on it. She it. just begged me, like an hour ago. And now I'm begging you to stop embarrassing yourself, because it's not a good shade on you. Are you really not gonna let me in? There's nothing I can do, I'm sorry. Hey, Scully. Hi, Gina. I brought my own pig in the blanket. Dope. Who's that guy? <laughs> Mario, you gotta calm down. You gotta walk away. It's over. Denying a celebrity at the door. The status. Hey, Gina, what are you doing? We had see Slater right there and you turned him away? And that, Jake, was your Gina moment. What? But that sucks. Why was that a bad one? Because, Jake, I wanted you to understand I don't need a celebrity or some crazy venue or a huge goodbye party. This is what I wanted, just to hang with my friends and have a few drinks. And laugh at Charles with his devil sticks until he makes eye contact. Yep, you're killing it, bud. <laughs> yes, I got all the splash that I need. Gina, mm -hmm. big cheese ball. I know. Plus, it's so cool that I got to turn a celebrity away from my party. That was kind of my Gina moment for me. I've always wanted to do that. Right. Right. Hey, um, it's raining outside. Is it cool if I just wait here until my car comes? Get out of here, Slater. Get out. <laughs> Man. I totally would let Mario Lopez hang out wherever. I can't yeah. believe it's Weirdly, you're kind of the person I'm the closest to here. Mm -hmm. Don't say why. Because I was your brother and your lover? Yep. Sorry, I just can't control my tongue around you. Right. <laughs> oh, the dough starter. Every time hey. I oh, man. You know, I never really understood the logic behind the two of us. But I love you, and I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too, Gina. You're getting comfy. I mean, why haven't you cleaned out your desk over your last two weeks? Because, Terry, I was busy giving each and every one of you a beautiful GM. Well, not all of us. Oh, Terry, that reminds me. Rosa, do you want this plan? Yeah, I messed with orchids. Great. Well, that about wraps up everything I meant to do. Come on. I wonder if Holt's going to hire a new assistant. Well, he can't hire someone permanent right away. He needs a rebound assistant first. It's gonna be so weird seeing someone at Gina's. Oh, she's still she's, here. Gina, what's going on? Cold feet. She's never gonna leave. No, I wanted to make sure Holt was familiar with my filing system. I didn't want to leave him in the dark. There are no dividers. It's just a big pile <laughs> of space. No. Yeah, you get it. No. For the rest of the day, in case you have any questions. Never gonna leave. She's definitely still gonna be here. No way, she's gone. Ha! Look. Desk, I told you, it's empty. She's right over there burning stuff. I'm just saging, trying to clear this place of my energy. Why? Cold feet. No. Gina, you're having second thoughts. You have cold feet. I figured it out. Take for the win. There you go. Come on, man. I never have second thoughts. That's the luxury of having great first thoughts. Gina, it's okay. You're scared. Tara Bear, I love you, but don't try and hop on my thing, okay? But for real, I'm not scared. Hey, guys, you were right. I'm scared as hell. Anyway. Here all day. Huh. All right, I think we need to all get on the same page for what to do about this Gina situation. Well, we should tell her we believe in her. Good point, Charles. And we all know she'll succeed at whatever she tries. I feel like this is all my fault. She's staying for me. She just can't let go. Hitchcock, you don't have to contribute. All right, guys, let's get in there and support <laughs> the hell out of Gina. <sighs> what is that? It's a statue of her texting on her phone. Guys, look, there's a note. Hello, 99. I just wanted to thank you guys. I was so nervous to move on, and I even started to doubt myself, which is crazy. And your kind words really helped me, especially yours, Terry. Oh. Psych! <laughs> did you fall for Terry, did you fall for it? Anyway, Terry, that's your Gina moment. Seriously? I've known her for seven years. JK again. I'm really gonna miss you, Sarge. I signed you up for an international yogurt of the month club. Austria Ooh. is in the fridge right now. Sarah's never had Austrian yogurt before. Oh, okay. the best moment of all. Anyway, I didn't doubt myself <laughs> for one second. I'm more confident now than I've ever been. I was only stalling because there was a shipping delay with my golden statue. Yeah, that makes sense. And even though she looks like she has wet hair and just combed through a deep conditioning treatment, <laughs> and even though her jeans look cheap, and even though she has sausage fingers, I hope it reminds you of me and I'm gonna miss you. I'll hold now for a five minute applause break. Do it, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This feels right. I love you guys. From Yulon. From Yulon. Now that might actually be the end of Gina. I feel cool. Maybe. Like I felt a lot more like we were saying goodbye. Like she was in Yulon. every scene and it, yeah. you know, with everybody and yeah, had huh. four movements. It just leads me to the questions as to like, why like, why here? Like four episodes into a season, 
Why? Will, will we change the intro? The intro hasn't changed for six seasons. Yeah, they might change. Will she be replaced? I don't know. Hitchcock and Scully are in the intro. Really? Yeah. I never noticed. Before. Aren't they in the walking part? They don't. Are they? I don't remember. I don't think so. I have to look and see. You can find out. Oh man, you're Scott. right. They don't even show them in that part. I thought they showed them in there. No. Huh. I knew they didn't have like a uh, That's all I'm saying. A freeze frame? Uh, yeah, yeah, like a art this actor yeah. kind of thing. But I thought they were in the other part. But Jean is in that, right? Like she's right she there. Is. Yeah, she's right there. And that's from season one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jake's hair. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. It's been the exact same like yeah. intro the entire time. And usually they do that. Like a lot of live action shows will have the exact same intro. But... It usually doesn't like zoom in on their characters like sure. that, and if it does, they kind of like will add or change that. But it's still like the same general. I, I think Friends always stayed Friends, but I think they changed like some little clips. Yeah, so they filmed them dancing in a fountain, and then every season they had new clips of like from the show. Yeah, you know? but so like it was still kind of the same, but it like updated it a little bit yeah. for them. The but Office just took insane. like five or six seasons to make a new intro too. I mean, Dexter's the same, and it's like close up on his face and That's everything. Amazing. Sure, yeah, but know. I feel like you don't have a lot of other characters it's or anything. Perfect. You're not, yeah, so. you're not altering a bunch. Most of it's <laughs> focused <laughs> on <laughs> fucking eggs and shit. You know, like <laughs> other stuff. Places. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> can't believe we told Slater he had to leave. I can't believe it. And it was Mario tasty. Lopez, man. Yeah. It was funny. <sighs> it was funny. I feel like I'd let him in. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Building the club, my house, <laughs> whatever. Like, come on in. I'm sorry, it's raining. Get in here. See, the yeah. thing is, like, he goes there, maybe has a few drinks. He never remembers you, but you kick him out, he'll remember you forever. Remember you, I guess. Preppy. I like. I was like, <laughs> it was like, oh, you can't be like you are in the show. You sure about that, Preppy? That was really funny. <laughs> oh. How old is he? Mario Lopez. Yeah, twenty three. I don't know. How old is this? No, he's not 23. That was a joke. I'm he's, just he's, how good looking he's he is. He's 40 something. He's so good looking. We're talking about how good looking and young he has been forever. He was born in 73. He is 48 years old right now. Yeah. 48. And this is season, what is it, six? And how many six. seasons they have of this? Like, this is, what, three eight, years ago? Eight seasons, I think. Yeah, so this is like three years ago. He's just so good looking. He's like a. Like, I know 20 year olds that are, like, older than him. His cheek dimples are. Well, they're not older deep. than him. Like asteroids. Yes. Hit his face. Yes, that's very charming. He Quite. is. He is the best aged member of Saved by the Bell. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm looking through the pictures of like all of them, and I'm like, yeah, he he looks great. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Was he Superman? Superman. Who am I thinking Dean of? Dean Kane. Dean Kane. Dean Kane. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you were thinking of that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get you a little I get, you. I get what little you're going bit. for. That was Dean Kane. You're right. His the hair is. Adventures of Superman it's like, and Lois. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you take off, the, like, from the nose down, I can kind of see Dean Kane a little. Like, the hair, the forehead, the eyebrows, a little bit. A it was little. such an. A positive honoring <laughs> thing that we were doing for Mario Lopez. Like, man, he looks so good and he's the best thing here. Was he another guy? That, <laughs> that guy's handsome too, though. Yeah, he is. Dean Kane. Bum Barrel! The Bum Barrel was my bum favorite part of the episode. Funny. Bum Barrel. What goes in the Bum Barrel stays yeah, in the Bum Barrel. Sure. Like, I never thought about it too. Like, New York definitely has trash issues, right? Yeah. But, like, I know in the country I've seen people, and I've done it too, where, like, People will burn stuff. Oh yeah, you know? but like in New York, it can't be. A you can't even thing. do that you here, do, in, right? In the city of Marietta, yeah. you can't do it's that. It's like in New York, that'd be an issue, but somehow bum barrels are okay. What they gonna do? So you just go over, you come out, toss Some your trash stuff. inside yeah. the bum barrel, and yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it's either that or the trash is just everywhere. Right? Remember in Mortal Kombat when Liu Kang and the rest went to that one Asian Outworld. country to be able well, to be able to get one of the boat to go to Outworld. Sure. Or to get to that one island that connects with that world. Like there was there was barrels on fire all the place there. It's true. I mean, through most of the movie, there was barrels on yeah, fire. Yeah, barrels on fire. I think it's just a thing. Or just fire. Yeah, on fire. Mm-hmm. Just that. Can't do that. Can't burn gas now. It's too expensive. Yeah. Just that Hitchcock had so much. He did. And, <laughs> he made trips. And it was gonna smell. Yeah. Like what did he have? Uh, Sometimes it's weird to see him without Scully. I wanted I know. to know if there's a. Uh, if his ginorama was a real thing. In Tampa? <clears throat> no. It just links me to Brooklyn Nine-Nine stuff. Makes sense. I 
like I'm trying to think of my favorite part. I really like the body double switch thing in the beginning. That was just really clever and funny. That's, that's well, because like, we I, kept, I kept like winning right? for it. Yeah, we were expecting it to be a switch. <laughs> yeah, and that was funny. I like the read <laughs> that Santiago had written on her jacket. Wasn't it Irene or something like that? Mm. Arnie. Oh, Arnie. 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 Okay. Arnie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Arnie. Ar- Arnie. Arnie. Yeah, and, well. and last episode, they had just talked about like uh, Jake, Jake's wife. Like she knows your name. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so it's kind of continuing that whole thing. Also, I mean, there was some sweet moments too with like, like Rosa and Amy both like crying and stuff, and like getting a Ro- Ro- Rosa emotional as well. Yeah, and, Rosa's toast was great. Bye. Bye. Uh, I liked Holtz because I thought they were, like, first I was like, okay, maybe she secretly has been training and is going to beat him and humble him, and that didn't happen, and then it went on so long that I thought it actually was going to happen, and it <laughs> still didn't happen, and I loved that it, they never did it. <laughs> yeah. She won, but she cheated. Yeah. Uh, you, if you make an illegal move, you immediately lose. You blatantly change the rules of the game. Because yeah, she cheated. Yeah. 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 So she won because she cheated. She didn't win. She lost. Well, no, I guess Holtz said, like, it's cheating. But she, she only she she won. lost if she agreed to the terms of the rules. Yeah, she was remaking the game. You have to so she establish won. the rules first and then play by them. Then they're objective good and bad moves, right? I suppose, but... This episode was my worst nightmare. I hope she's gone. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not. It wasn't a bad episode or anything. It's just like all the things that... I don't necessarily like about the show seem to one be at the forefront and two gone. So maybe. I don't Are you know. just saying Gina? Yeah. Is that your way of just saying like yeah. Gina's at the forefront <laughs> and she's gone? Like I just you know, when she's you know, being held up by those guys in the gold outfits and she's saying, I'm an angel, I am an angel, like I just don't sure. understand the I mean there's elements like that that I'm just like this <laughs> yeah. doesn't hit it for me. Yeah. I, I do like when Jake and Gina are like sneaking into the sure. place and like oh, yeah that's cool like, I like that part there's some funny moments yeah. with that and stuff they have good chemistry together mm-hmm. sure so I like that and even last episode I think it was with uh, them kind of talking to each other and talking out like being friends and being the origin story of Jake being a detective and stuff like that like I like those kind of moments and stuff but there is some like and I think it's a matter of she's the most I don't know well Jake says that she's also very loyal She's also just very much about, like selfish. It seems yeah. like, though, also she's not sometimes too. Mm-hmm. But it's in a selfish way. I don't know how to describe yeah. it. but it's nice to have a w- her as a window into Jake's past because they've known each other for so long. Sure. Like I usually like those kind of moments. Yeah. I feel like the most lore breaking thing in the show is that Holt like tolerates her on a daily basis. I don't know. Sure. Like it doesn't like in my head. Well, especially like in the early seasons, he got on Jake so much. Yeah. Like not dressing to code and yeah. Like being on time. Like he's a very stickler for the rules, but sure. he makes this one exception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> but there's also like some trade offs too, where it's like Holt is not X, but then Gina's like, let me help him get sure. this knowledge. Whether it's that. like you need a social presence or you need this or that, you know. And I, I like those elements. I'm not even sure how much. Like, if he even could fire her. Because she's a civilian. So, like, is that hired by a civilian committee or well, something? Well, it's personally his assistant, right? She was the assistant to the previous captain. Yeah. And then he was like, is he going to keep me on or not, right? Was that a thing? I think, I think so. so. It might have been. I think he I hires remember. his assistant himself. I don't think it's assigned to him. That could be. I don't know how it works. Yeah, me either. Will we get... A new cast well, member, or will we? Just, like, I, I would probably just say no. They also right? said that Holt had to, like, if they would, if Holt would have replaced her yet, and he's like, he's gonna need to rep- do a uh, a rebound assistant yeah. first. Mm, that Tim. So they made it sound like he has to choose who's gonna be there. You're right. So, no, I probably wouldn't replace her. Probably not. Yeah. From a show standpoint. Yeah. Just. I don't think like, so. we don't need a new actor. Or actor. Like we're six seasons in. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Well, like, there's already enough characters to carry it, I feel like, probably. Sure, and we don't see, like, Hitchcock and Scully all that much overall anyway. What character that we've had would you want to have more of a presence in the show? Uh, Make Pimento the assistant. Or Doug Judy. I like both of those. (laughs) So, like, you're not adding someone new, you're just increasing the role of someone you've had before. I mean, Pimento's great, but too much Pimento would be too much. It might be. Sure... I don't think there is too much Doug Judy. 
Yeah. I like Doug Judy. I especially would like him and Charles having to be in the same place. Yeah. All, like, both working for Jake's affection. That would be interesting. What if, like, stuff hasn't worked out and they got demoted, so you have either, like, the vulture? Mm. Or... Wunch. Wunch. <laughs> like, having to be the assistant or something. I don't know, I don't know how that works. Oh, it'd still be a civilian, I think. Yeah. Right? The assistant. There's not a lot of civilians that we have, really, that we can be like... I would say just the, just the cast is strong. Just don't need to have anybody else. If maybe, she's even maybe, gone. Maybe a background. This could just be a psych. Like a fake out? Not this one. Oh, right? no. This episode felt like it was all meant to be about she her. She was leaving. hit by a bus. Yeah, but like as like a... I think, as like a... Also... Burn, you know? I think that was like a last minute, how do we write her off? Bus yeah. hit. Unexpected accident. No yeah. one was ready. It's not like you have to build up to it. This was like last it. episode. I'm leaving. This episode. Here it is. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like shows I've watched where people have left, and like I don't normally remember these kind of episodes where it's like a fanfare, see them off kind of thing. I mean, a lot of them are usually like they die. Oh, or That's a very common way of doing it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like Two and a Half Men. It's the one that comes to mind. I never watch that too much. I mean, you do this so that, yeah, the actor's not there, but whenever you're wrapping up the show or you have a special thing, you can have them come back for an episode. Sure. Kind of, um, kind of your face. Hmm? You're like, look at me like, <laughs> I'm trying to, I was trying to like replicate it. I'm like, what's he doing? What's your thing of the month that you would like? My thing of the month? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, whenever he said yogurt of the month, I was like, huh. Like, I don't like yogurt, but I would like, like a bratwurst of the month. I don't drink enough Unless they were tiny bottles, but bourbon of the month. Bourbon? Could be interesting. Jancy and I got my, my brother and his wife like a craft beer subscription that they did that. They do that. Like a redhead of the month? We're talking about food or is it other things too? I mean, generally something that. Are you, you talking can, about a person? Yeah. Like I a mail order bride? Yeah, we're not doing. I mean, it could be human like. Trafficking error. It could be girls or guys, but it could be like just like here's the redhead of the month and it's like a poster or something. It's a picture? Sure. Okay. Yeah, the redhead of the month. Like a calendar? Yeah, and it could alternate between. Like, they Whatever send you gender. like each month. Yeah, every month. Yeah, aha, right of the month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Some weeks, is, some months are better than other months. You know. When you guys got the calendars, would you just look ahead and see whatever? Like I was always taught, like no, you have to wait to the month to see what. The I would try not is. to, but okay. I remember I had one that was a. Uh, yeah. It was a, for him magazine, I think it was called. Okay. And like in like December was yeah. Morgan Webb, from mm. G4 TV. Yeah. Mm. Tech this show. I no. definitely looked at her before December. Cause that was a year away. Yeah. <laughs> no, I tried never to like look and see what the next thing was going to be, unless I was like in an older person's garage and they had that like calendar from like nineteen seventy six. That stays there. Yeah. It's still there, and it's just on the last month of the year. But yeah. they never took it down, so yeah. then you wouldn't be like, Ooh, yeah. My my next? grandpa just had this one like Playboy calendar yeah. from God knows when. Who knows when? You just leave it up there. Sun there forever. He never even <laughs> faded. When he first got it, it wasn't accurate. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. like, a couple years late. Yeah. Nah, I better put this up That's here. That's the only one. This is my garage. So anyway, I go for bratwurst. I don't know, Rick. You said like a whiskey, like a, a bourbon, bourbon, maybe. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Or a wine. Um, could, be, could be all right. I don't want to have like such a out there bratwurst though that I regret it. I would like. This a normal bratwurst is great, but I don't want to be like. Well, this one has coconut and you know fucking micro machines. Yeah, like a bag of chips. Bag of chips. Like a, like like a you, like one of those little ones. Yeah, even, like you a know? snack bag. And they just send you like a bag of chips yeah. every month, and it can be like Seaweed. there's so many different types of chips oh, out yeah. there, you know, like, yeah. there's tons of shit. And then you can listen to the sounds. Maybe try to win a radio show. Well, they already won that last time. Could Someone a, did. Yeah, different. Was this noise? Farting. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What does the future hold? We don't know, but you can find out our reactions to it right now over at patreon.com slash blindway where you can see the next four reactions to this and so much more. Also subscribe. Bye, Gina. Please. Thank you. This feels right. I love you guys.